Hey everybody, it's Righteous Freed, back with another State of the Account update. As you can see, I have from last week on from Gold 2 up to Gold 1. It was a pretty arduous journey. Wasn't, wasn't the easiest. Learned a very valuable lesson. If you start tilting, you just need to take a break. Just, just take a break. Don't. Don't just keep spam playing, otherwise it'll drop down until before lower before we even started, and then makes it incredibly hard to just set your mind straight. Just take a break. But a few interesting matches there. Gonna get into those later. You should see those posted later in the week. But I will say, I do love my Noemi. And the current state of the box, Ares will be taken out once I can eventually earn enough points to unlock SP Hine and get all the challenge controllers. So that'll be a little bit of time. But while I love Ares, I love his flexibility and the threat he presents, I have found he, he either single-handedly wins the match for me or he is just completely useless like like he's just a non-factor and i could have somebody else in there like i would have lanford and lanford would, would be better even though he doesn't fit with the box so love you aries buddy but hey heinz just got the magic okay yeah that was bad but we're making progress. Hopefully next weekend I can at least reach Langrisser. After there, just pad some points so I can start getting into the rankings. I really want to at least make playoffs this year. Or not <laughs> this season. That and I am looking to play against some people who play Rush Boxes. If you play Rush... I would like to have some practice matches against you sometime during this week. If you could just post down in the comments your your name and which server you're on. I would love to get a few matches in there just so that I can get better. Because I feel Rush is either a... They can't do anything against me or I can't do anything against them. And I just feel like I don't play it enough. So I'd appreciate that. It's always fun to just have some practice matches anyway, so we all get better. Other than that, today I did pull my second Crystal Stinger, so really nice. Might build that on somebody else, and it'll... Might make actually make Oliver playable, because if he can lower their defense by 20%, that might give him the ability to kill people. Glory of the World, I love this. It saved me from a burn heart killing me. Now, Meditation Ring would have done the same thing, but I would have been silenced and would not have been able to use skills. So, I love this right here. And it, I love confusing people with having four revives on there. Other than that, not too much new equipment. Remember, in the Time Rift 18.6, there's a free Fury of Tear in the normal mode, so make sure you get that ASAP in case you don't have any. Super good. But not too much new equipment. Still looking for last rites and more scepters. Leaning towards using my crafter's casket. I don't know why they call it a casket. But leaning towards getting a Twilight Star, I feel that might help in certain instances that way I can break last rites especially on juggler but getting resources ready for S behind halfway there in my guild guild event coming along nicely here we are only Oh, hey! Someone else got some more points. Yes, we got took back first. Getting pretty close. 
Going to have to do another couple runs later. Get this wolf den done. Hopefully, before the end of this week, I can at least unlock us behind. Other than that, for hero farming, Light, Light of Genesis, I got a farmer shirts today. Tomorrow, she will be complete. After that, I will start working on young Jessica, getting her up there. I feel she'll be really flexible and good there. After that, Hilda's done next week. Where is it next week? Hold on. Let's see. Now, Hilda will be done the 17th of June, so that's another nine days. So, yeah, next Thursday. So, that'll be nice. Once she's done, then I'm going to start working on Renata. She'll be key as well being able to disable guard because i'm finding in my apex box the the easiest way to play easiest way to win for me is i get if i can get leaden and i either limit them to one tank or i get juggler and leaden that way i can lock down both their tanks i can then run around with whoever my dps is and just slaughter their dps especially with Noemi, if I can just lock down their tank, she can attack from 5 range, under the safety of the tanks as well. Nothing to worry about. So anybody who can disable guard, or make it so certain units can't be guarded against, that's going to be one of my favorites right there. You're going to see in a lot of the videos, again, Illustrial and Muriel are banned really early. Because everybody knows they have the easiest way of guard piercing. But this box is shaping up with Hein and with his new 2C and 1C and Ultimate Magister, I'll be able to make sure that they control the field more. They can't move. They won't have the mobility. I'll be able to drop down his special meteor or attack at 4 range. Right now, I'm going to switch this Red Moon out for... Where is it? There you go. A Scepter Divinity. I'm going to drop him a little, but this will give him the range he needs so he can attack at four range with his new 2C with the Ultimate Thunderstrike, or whatever it's called. So that will be fun. Let's give you a... Ooh, which one? We'll give you a placeholder. Nice and strong. All right. For this, I am working. I plan to get faceless ready before this coming Apex. There was, it's, I should have shadow dueled anyways to kill a light of Genesis, but I had, because I had Shinobi and they don't get any attack increase. And the Light of Genesis was in range of Hilda. Because I couldn't crit, I couldn't kill a Light of Genesis with a 3 range strong wind snipe from Sigma. Now he didn't have his 20% buff from his unique equipment. But I still feel like a mage should not have lived through Sigma attacking her with a 1.5 skill. So, just going to do that. That way they have the extra attack. But, everything else coming along nicely. Not too much to say. That'll be the progress there. And once Noemi is... Oh, real quick. Once Noemi is finished in July, after young Jessica and Renata, we are going to be building up Lucia. That way I can have another tank. I can swap that around. Keep that going. She, If you've watched Air at all, she has a lot of use. Air you can. And I really feel I'll be an extra, extra tanky. And I'm, 
I'm actually going to probably go and re-enchant all of this into ice. That way there's an extra chance of stunning people. So that, that'll be an option. It'll be fun to test that out. Can have a four tank box so they can't ban out tanks really easy. And with chain hook here, I might just start banning Hilda first. That way I can rip their tank up their tank away. Lots of choices. Lots of choices coming up. Gonna be pretty diverse box. A little sad that uh, Christiane, the the new princess faction buffer, uh she isn't part of Legion of Glory, uh, makes me sad. Would have been nice to have her. She could have been a really good, really good tank and buff a fair number of people. But that is going to be it. It's been, been an interesting weekend. Learned a lot. Making progress slowly. So just got to keep pushing at it and we'll eventually hit the mark. I want to thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, consider liking and subscribing. Do appreciate the support. Until next time, Righteous Freed out.